So for our Thursday assignment, we're going to be using an extension on Chrome called Kami. You'll have to create an account and add this to your Chrome extensions in order for it to work correctly. So what I've done is gone to KamiApp.com, and this is what the screen will show up as. You're going to click here to create an account. Um, I already have an account, so I'm going to need to log out and create a new one. So I'm going to create it with Google. I'm going to use a different email to create my account. You're going to allow all of these. So what it's going to do is it's going to be able to pull from your Google Drive. Um, and if we were using Google Classroom, it would integrate there. So you're going to allow that. Um, you're going to say that you're a K through 12 school and you're a student and finish. So once you finish, it'll take you to a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you will click on this help. It has a little orange dot next to it. And if you go all the way down to the bottom, it will say install Kami extension. So you'll get to this screen and you're going to add it to Chrome. Um, yes, I want to add the extension. So now it's been added to your Chromebook. So you'll be able to see the little K up here. So once you've installed the Kami extension, which again should be somewhere over here. I'm not on a school Chromebook, so mine is under this puzzle piece. But somewhere in the upper right hand corner, you'll be able to see your extensions and you'll see it here. Once you have that downloaded, when you go back into Schoology under week one assignments and Thursday, which is where we'll be using the Kami extension, you should see this new button pop up. So instead of collecting the PDF, downloading it and uploading it, you will sh or you should be able to just click this open assignment with Kami and it's going to upload for you to your Google Drive. You're going to have to authorize your Google Drive. So you'll click that and say yes. Okay, so yep, you're going to allow all of this to happen. And now you have your Kami extension installed. You have your article downloaded <clears throat> and you're able to annotate it. So the cool thing about Kami is that you can mark it up or highlight and annotate it. So you can use this text highlighter. You can even change your color if you'd like. Um, and you can highlight some of the important um, elements of your article. So if you think that that's a really important point, you could highlight it, you could trash it. Um, for this assignment, you don't have to make any annotations. What you will be using is the text box feature. So once you click on text box, you can type anywhere on the PDF. So you'll type your name and your period. So let's say I'm in period one. So you're going to read the article. You're going to go through the whole article and read it. And again, this is based on our grading scale. So this is going to help you understand how we grade in our class and what we're doing and why we're on the zero to four scale. So you're going to read this and you're going to come to the bottom and there's going to be some questions. Um, you're not going to answer these questions, although I have this highlighted from a previous video. But you're not going to do these questions. What you're going to do is keep scrolling, and I want you to do the discussion questions. So you're going to read the question, do you agree with Khan's claim regarding the goal of education? Why or why not? Once you go back up and find your evidence, you'll type your answer here. Like, yes, I agree because blah, blah, blah. And you're going to do that for one through four. And once you've finished all of this, <clears throat> you can click up here, turn in. So you'll say you'll turn it in. It's going to export and redirect you. And it's unable for me to turn it in because I'm the teacher, but that's what you will do. So once you turn it in, it'll come straight to me. And that's all you'll do.